What's up, AD? Welcome to Jerryland. Come on inside. Welcome to Jerryland. I guess that means today we are rating 31-year-old rapper from Oakland, California, g Easy's Hillside Villa featured on Architectural Digest. So what drew me to this house initially was its warmth and its homey kind of vibe, kind of Spanish Moroccan style. G Easy purchased this Hollywood Hills home in 2006 for around $1.7 million. Depending on the exact location in the hills, I'd say it's worth around two and a half to three million bucks today. This is the living room. I'm really big on rugs, as the dude in the Big Lebowski would say. It really ties the room together. You know, old. The dude abides. Especially if they're actually like lived in and walked on and, and, and used. It just really adds like a warmth to a home. I want a home to feel like a home, not just a house and not just, you know, a hotel. In music, I apologize to any life. big g Easy fans who might be watching this, but I'm completely unfamiliar with his personality or his style. I just know him from the music. With that said, I'm surprised at how much of an old soul he is, and this would be his preferred aesthetic. Very interesting, unexpected. Did you guys expect this? This was actually a gift from somebody very special to me. I got that for Christmas. I'm learning to play. I'm not very good. <laughs> Yet, yeah, I've been in love with music since I was old enough to understand it. My so you can tell he's very passionate about this home, which is cool to see. However, it needs some help. I like the white walls, the exposed beams, but can we talk about this furniture? I think he's trying to go with the vintage look, but this is just old, tired, dated. I mean, look at the couch. It's frumpy. And there's just too much suede for such a small space. If the club chairs are going to be suede, go with the leather couch or vice versa. You got to mix up the materials, my man. I've been following for years on Instagram and admiring his work. And I kind of like the juxtaposition and class it even creates. You, know, you have everything else that's so traditional and no. old feeling and warm. And no, you no, have no, this no, clash no. of color and this bright pop art. Over here is a good friend of mine, no. Kai. I've known him for years and years. This does not work. You might be able to pull this off if the frumpy furniture had similar tones, but they're nowhere near complementary colors. You 100% can mix modern art with vintage furniture. Just not done like this. Over here, this is, I guess, my dining room. For me, it's essential to just have this flow and walkway through from the living room to the entryway to this dining room to the kitchen. Over here, there's another piece by Kai. This is his, like, traditional character. Now, this piece works for the space. The pastel green is complemented by the beams, the foliage, the drapery, and the oak tables. This is how you tie modern art into a traditional home. We're making progress here. This is good to see. Here we have the kitchen. So my favorite color is dark green. I think dark green, especially next to gold, is really beautiful. Okay, here's the problem. Do you see the bay window over the sink? All of the cabinets probably were that color originally. They've taken them, they've sanded them down, and they've repainted them this dark green. I have no issue with this color. I actually like green and gold as a combination, but you need a different material, material or color other than this white backsplash and white countertop to break up the heaviness of the upper and lower cabinets. For example, we should go green uppers to a butcher block or Calcutta gold countertop, back to the green lowers, then to a light floor to contrast the dark green. Right now he has dark green, super white, dark green, dark. We need dark, contrast, dark, contrast. Are we following along at home? If not, go back and look at my Nina Dobra video. Her kitchen will explain this exactly. When I came to see this house for the first time, you know, this is something that sold me almost immediately. The pool is really more or less... So buying a home in the Hollywood Hills has some pros and cons. Pro number one, you're going to get this amazing view. The cons are you rarely have any grass yard space. Number two, the homes are packed on top of each other, so you're going to see and hear your neighbor whether you want to or not. For example, my brother lives in the hills. He sees his neighbor doing naked yoga each morning. I guess that could be a pro or a con depending on who the neighbor is. Number three, you've got to construct up. Because the buildable area is so small, you've got to go vertical. So this house right here is about five stories. You got to be okay with getting your steps in. Just a few things to consider when buying in the hills. A lot of nights where cats end up flipping off of this rail and into the hot tub and going for night swims. Anything goes at Jerryland. This bathroom I worked on with my interior designer, and I wanted it to feel like a completely different vibe from the rest of the house. Like almost yeah, like unlike the kitchen, this works. It's dark and moody, but you've got this textured wallpaper to counterbalance that black and the gold. A friend of mine, an artist by the name of Nate Turbo, says, give me all the parting. <laughs> yeah, this bathroom's just a vibe. This probably get to make some people jealous. We got it all sectioned out. 
leather jacket collection. You know, we got the blazers down here. Before we talk about this closet, I'm actually proud of G-Eazy for committing to a design aesthetic and then sticking to it throughout the entire house so far. Have I loved all the selections and decisions? No, but I understand his vision and it makes sense. Oftentimes I walk through people's homes and they don't fully commit to a design and that is a bad, bad spot to be in. Now back to this closet. It is giving me Ralph Lauren showrooms on Fifth Avenue vibes. The green, the gold, the backlighting, the island with the black marble tops. He knocked it out of the park on this one. I like keeping things like, you know, the dark gray, like cold feel of like the sheets. This is like my reading station. I love this chair. Can we talk about this bed? Why in the world is everything just purple? When doing bedding, keep it simple. Think of a hotel. Crisp white sheets, plush duvet, two or three rows of pillows, 30 by 30, 20 by 20, long lumbar. Finish it off with a throw at the end of the bed. Simple. Secondarily, what is this mini fridge doing? Get it out of here or get it to the other side of the bed so no one can see it. Oh, you're killing me, Jeezy. This was here when I moved in, and it was another thing that attracted me to buying the house. You know, this, this kind of Moroccan, you know, Spanish feel to it. It's, it's another thing that adds warmth, you know, to homes, in my opinion. I've never Very Moroccan-inspired. It adds great character to the space. I also like how it's open to the bedroom, so it makes the entire room feel bigger. I love the three wall pendants, the black fixtures, the floating cabinets. All we need to do is fix the bedding and throw this mini fridge off the cliff, and we're good to go here. There's a lot of stairs in my house. Some people get really exhausted coming up. I told you there's a lot of steps yeah, in the hills. Good exercise. But for those times that you don't quite have it in you, I do have an elevator in the crib. This we redid with my designer. The red velvet walls, Moroccan. Oh, I'm all about this elevator. It's so old Hollywood with the red velvet walls, the rotary phone. This is giving me 1920s speakeasy elevator vibes. Perfect. It's kind of like the lounge kick it spot for the homies. I love neon. I've always loved it. All right, how do I feel about Jerryland? To me, it's similar to Nina Dobriv's where it has a lot of original character and charm, but it still needs work. I like the potential. I love the view. I like g Easy. So I'm going with 6.8 stars. 6.8 stars, that's the score. I don't know, what do you think about Jerryland? Like, subscribe, comment, let me know in the comment section. I'm curious. G-Easy, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching Jerryland with me. Take care.